guys so we've got this uh, it's a very nice clean example of a 92 so it's a late model BMW E30 325 it's got the inline six cylinder and I know you see that there um, but we have uh, a check engine light that has come on um, this customer brought it in for a timing belt and water pump replacement job uh, which we've completed we just did a vacuum fill or like airlift uh, to fill the whole cooling system and we're letting it run to uh, get some heat circulating um, as we did that we noticed it it's not misfiring but I personally think maybe it could be better but I don't know it you know part of it is the era and how they used to run. Now it has a distributor, so on and so forth, uh, with cap rotor and everything. We did take that apart. It didn't look terrible, but um, and we didn't mess with any vacuum lines or intakes, not even valve cover, so nothing with crankcase as far as uh, mixture thing uh, here with us. But the bigger thing, again, is the check engine light that it has come on while we are have let it run now when the customer dropped it off um, he just left it outside put the key in the drop box I brought it in um, and just let it sit inside out of the weather so um, this is first time we are experiencing this uh, my first time in an E30 have a check engine light here on my own outside of the dealer and I am going to attempt to see if we can figure out anything as far as why the lights coming on that is why I got my 20 pin adapter on there so it's gonna be a long shot to see if we can even read anything alright guys so I've got my VCI connected um, my first attempt is with my most expensive tool and naturally I want to manually select this I'm pretty sure it's not gonna pick up a VIN. So we go here in three series. We don't even pull up any E30 in the E uh, in the three series. Um, so it's not even an option right here. If we try in the Z, um, it still doesn't even go down to the E30. So my expensive auto is unable to pull anything up on this vehicle. Um, next I went ahead and gave it a shot with the launch. So I've had very good luck on older BMWs with the 20 pin connector and with the launch where the auto would fail. Now I'll show you here quick. Um, so that's not it I don't think it uh, actually I'm in the wrong month let's see if it saved it no it looks like it it did not so um, it did read it so I'll just get you a shot of that or let me see I did take a screenshot Here we go. So, if we look at the path, manual selection, 3 series, E30, engine computer. We pull up a trouble code. This launch was actually able to get in and read 
a 92 BMW E30 through the 20 pin. The other thing that I wanted to try was to see if this guy here, now we're, our, our cost per tool is from this guy here to that one to this one starts at a certain point and comes down, comes down, comes down. Now it's not to say these are cheap tools. These are, this line from launch is specifically geared to specific make models and that's how the cost comes down. So this one is a, is part of a new line that they've got out. Um, let's see. Um, here's the model uh, and it's specifically geared for European. So the Elite 2.0 BBA. So it's for BMW, Mercedes, Audi, and I think VW Porsche. So I have to double check. Um, so it's my first time playing around with it. And I'm curious to see if it will read anything on that. Now this one's a little bit bigger than the others that I have reviewed. Um, again, this one's self-powering, uh, but I'm sure it'll power up once you plug it in. But, let's go ahead. Install that. And, looks like because it detected maybe being powered up, it's going into this mode but I'm pretty sure it won't be able to find a VIN number. All right, clearly we knew that was gonna happen. Let's hit skip. And we know that, so let's go diagnose. We'll go BMW, brings up our software level. All right, we want manual, three series. And we do have an option for an E30, just like the bigger launch. And let's go to drive. And this is what it supposedly can read. Let's see. <laughs> there you go, guys. So we are in, we're getting DME information from this uh, low cost but very effective launch tool. Let's see. There we go. Trouble code pulled up from this uh, again. The Elite 2.0 BBA. And with this, just like the other launches, uh, it can generate a report that I can email and print. This one actually has buttons, which I like that. Um, just out of curiosity. Wow, we are getting live data or some data with this launch. So if you see our O2 signal is down towards the bottom. We are <laughs> we are graphing right now. This is pretty crazy. Uh, again, you can use either the screen to back or the button. Uh, let me pull that one up also. So. Alright, so 
Um, we'll have to get with the customer. Obviously, he didn't come for any type of drivability or diagnosis. Just basically maintenance work. Um, but now we do have the ability to go further and be able to confirm if we decide to make a diagnostic call and repair it. All from having the ability with this launch tool. Thank you.